Hi there, Mike King here. Because you're probably receiving this, or at least it's been sent out on Friday the 13th. Usually that's a that's a that's a tough sign. That's a tough day. Well, this is a good sign and a good day. All good news. All good news on the, on this report. Great things happening in the field and 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 with our colleagues throughout the Volunteers of America family. First thing I want to lift up is, is a great event that was put on by our VOA of Greater New York, the fifth annual Honigman Companies Benefit Golf Tournament, benefiting the VOA of Greater New York and the United Negro College Fund. This was really led by the new board chair, the new board chair of VOA of Greater New York, who's also the president and COO of Honigman Companies, and that's Reginald Goins. He, he really is hands-on with, with, with this event. He was all over the place out there. I got a chance to actually go and attend this and watch this and be a part of this slightly, along with their new CEO, Jeffrey Ginsburg. They, they led the team and led the effort. They asked us if we could use our relationship with the LPGA and our experience there to see if we could identify an LPGA player that could appear at their tournament and participate in it. And we were blessed and fortunate to have Mariah Sackhouse agree to come and do exactly that. She's a past LPGA Rookie of the Year, outstanding player, also past leader, if you will, of, of the Stanford golf team and their NCAA championship season. Uh, so so she's, she's a leader and a great player and frankly, a great person, absolutely great person, very approachable. People love getting to meet her and, and if you will, play beat the pro, see who could get the closest to the pin contest. And I think out of, out of dozens and dozens and dozens of folks trying this all day long, there were only two that even came close to getting closer than Mariah did. And so it was, it was a great day I, and, 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 and I was just spending time shagging golf balls, shagging golf balls off, off the green to bring it back to Mariah. And Mariah, I'll, I'll shag balls for you any day of the week. She she was a great sport about this, great participant, and the folks there loved meeting her and loved getting to watch that beautiful golf swing of hers. So great day, great effort by our, by our entire affiliate, all the volunteers there, as well as their colleagues from the United Negro College Fund. It was, it was fantastic. So great job, guys. Another thing I want to talk to you about is our State of Affiliates report, and I've got, got it right here. New new document just just coming out. You're going to be seeing this. It's going to be mailed out. Margaret Ratcliffe and her team put this together. This is a fantastic report on the past year and the activity and the programming, the income revenue, all the all those statistics, if you will, from the affiliates. And it shows the incredible resilience and adaptability of our affiliates in the field, dealing with the with the ups and downs of the economy of the. Uh, 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 the changes that we deal with every day in, in providing human care services, and they achieved great things. Literally increased their operating revenue by 7% over the past year, exceeding $1.3 billion, and even increased the fundraising percentage to 11% of total income, which is tough for us because we do so well on the government side. It's tough to get that percentage of fundraising up above that. So great work done there, great work done transforming lives and frankly creating health the communities for all. So, 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 so thank you to all the affiliates and thank you to Margaret and her affiliate relations team for putting this great report together. And then last but not least, Dr. Rita Nakashima Brock is doing an informational webinar on moral injury for the new U.S. Congressional Committee on the Afghan War. This is, this is a tremendous honor to be asked to come and really literally do an information webinar for them and to educate them about the impact of this and the work that we need to be done, still keep doing on, in moral injury and helping our veterans deal with this because it really just begins as they come home. It doesn't, it doesn't end when, 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 when their service ends. In fact, that's when it really begins. And so great work there, great work there by Dr. Bach. Thank you so much for that. Thanks to all of you for what you do and for the lives that you're impacting every day. It is, it, is, it is seeing dramatic impact, and you see from these reports and some of the statistics that we report out, that's why we do that work and collect it, so we can show the overall impact that it has. God bless you.